Hey YouTube, Shukman Shinobi here with a review of the SH Figure Arts uh, Tamashii Web Exclusive Kamen Rider O's Takakiriba and Takatorata set. So as you can see, we have Takakiriba and Takatorata right here. I'll look at the package. It uh, takes a lot of design cues from the uh, standardized O's packaging that we have we've come to get used to. However, instead of being white, uh, this one is done in black with uh, Takatorata and Takakiriba right here. We have Kamaru's Takabarurula. Uh, the red, yellow, yellow, and red, green, green uh, metals along the side here. Gray lettering. White lettering on the side here with a little bit more of the body shot. And at the back, uh, Taka Tamakiri Bata and Taka Tora Chita and stuff. Shows that I come with the can droids and uh, look at the effect parts that we will go into a little bit later. So just set that back here. Um, I mean, as for the figures, I'm not really going to go into too much. Um, I mean, all the posability is the same. Uh, it, it, the joints are a little bit tighter than Tatoba's and Gatakiriba's on this guy. But it's still pretty, pretty bad. Still really, really loose. So, uh, I mean, really there isn't anything too new here. Uh, we're used to the Takahead. We've gotten all of these pieces before, so there's nothing really new here. Uh, here is uh, Taka head and the Kamakiri body and the Bata legs. Look at the driver, since that's really the only thing new about this. And from the back, and we have the... He's just going to fall, I know it. The Taka uh, Tora Ta... Taka... Tora, Cheetah. Really nice. Um, I really like the Cheetah legs. They're probably some of my favorite legs. Um, they're really stiff. The joints on him are all really, really, really good. So you can check that out here. One of my favorite of the forms just because he's all fast but still got the cool red red helmet design. So, uh, yeah, that's really about it for the figures. I mean, they're not they're nothing new at all. So, I mean, as for some, some accessories, we have the basically the same hand layout that we had before. We have the uh, relaxed hands for the cheetah, or the Torah, rather. Weapon holding hands for Torah. And the... Uh, this one is the oh, a scanner holding hand for Torah. And then this one is a hand to hold the can droids in can mode. So that's, that's a new hand. We do get a new hand. So that's pretty neat. So it just kind of holds it like that. Pretty neat, you know. It's popping a beer or whatever. So we'll just set that aside for now. And then the Kamakiri ones have the blades for the Kamakiri holding hand blade thing. Not sure I was going with that. Uh, the Kamakiri relaxed splayed open hands. Kamakiri weapon holding hands. And then the O scanner hand and the Candroid holding hand for Kamakiri. So we get that layout of hands. Um, obviously, for accessories, it came with one Meta Jaliber. Thankfully, it didn't come with two, or else I would have two more of these. Little shits laying around. The Tora Claws for Taka Tora Ta. Um, hand holding blades for Taka Kiriba. Right here. And then uh, extended uh, inside of the gauntlet um, blades for Taka Kiriba. And so, I mean, as for, the, we've had all of those things already, so there's still nothing new. However, this set does come with some cool things like the Candroids. So here is the Taka Candroid. Uh, no printed details, it's just the red paint on the silver can. And here is the Taka Candroid. Which, again, just red, or uh, blue paint on the silver can. Here are their open forms. Sadly, Taka does, uh, does not move at all, and he is... I think incorrect by having two colored fins. I don't remember offhand. But he's still oddly adorable. 
even in a little derpy way. And here's Taka. He's just flying around doing his Taka shit. So those are nice. And then we have an effect part for the Kamikiri Blade. So I'm pretty sure it can work on the these ones too. Yeah, it should. Uh, so it can fit the ones that go into his gauntlet. It just slides right in there. And then it goes into the ones that he can hold as well. So it just kind of clips onto the blade and uh, gives a slashy effect. Uh, can you use it with the meta gel over? Uh, you kind of can, but not really. Just doesn't really work as effectively. And then uh, these two parts right here are for the cheetah legs to uh, simulate fast running. I'm not going to demonstrate it because he's just kind of chilling on my display right now. But uh, these do work and look great with uh, Axel Trial. So if you have Axel Trial, feel free to give him these. It does look pretty cool. So uh, we're going to go ahead and plop him in here because this is cool. So we'll just put that leg in here. And this leg will go back here. I'm going to take a moment to knock him over and just kind of help myself a little bit. And then this leg kind of just pivots inside of there. Pivots? That's not the word I'm looking for. Slots, perhaps? So that, that leg just kind of like slots inside of there just like that so then you just need to work on his uh, his leg placement over here um, I had him in a pretty good pose I don't know what happened between then and now but I'm clearly not able to do this anymore so he's kinda got a, a pose kinda going like this And then you have some problems with the whole standing thing. Just doesn't really work all that well. It is a nice effect part though, and uh, probably one of the coolest things about this set overall. There we go, that's, that's not bad. And then this part is uh, just a wedge. So just kind of shove it in between his legs here and then close his leg up. And then it'll lock in place. So uh, that's just to add to the whole increasiness, increasy fastness or something along the lines of that. Um, I'm going to pause a moment because I think he would look cool with Tora Claws out. So movie magic. And voila. So here we have uh, Taka Tora Ta in its super cool running pose with Tora Claws because he's awesome. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is that uh, while the Bata legs still suck, uh, his head is really tight, unlike the uh, Tatoba head, and the Gatakiriba head for that matter. Uh, so the head is a lot tighter now, so so that that's always fun. So he is all set to go, so now we just need to pimp him out. Unfortunately, because of how loose his legs are, it is really hard to get him in some dynamic poses. So that is a little bit of a shame. So let's just pop these out. Just like that. Slot in the effect part. Because really that's what makes this set worthwhile. There we go. So, um, I mean, the pose that they have him in on the, uh, the back has them inside of his gauntlet, but obviously I'm doing something a little bit different because of the way I pose got to Kiripa. So I don't know how to do it. There goes his legs again. Like I said, it's just kind of a pain in the ass to work with. It really is. So I'm just going to kind of do something like this where he's just going to... He will cut you. Providing he can stand for longer than two seconds. So I'm not going to try to force his legs any further than that. 
So we'll just go with this. Um, okay, so this set, uh, I mean, as a whole, kind of sucks. I mean, I got it for 5,000 yen. That's about 20 to 30 bucks off of the actual, like, middleman service price. So, I mean, that's a plus, but I mean, I mean, you get 2,500 yen a piece for these, which isn't too bad. That's a little bit more than what uh, a standard O's retail cost. So, I mean, in that aspect, it isn't too bad. You get the cool effect part for the Kamakiri Blade. You get the cool running effect part that you can use for Axel Trial if you really wanted to. Or anyone else that runs fast. So, Fi's Axel coming up. Uh, Excel Trial. Normal Excel if you really wanted to. Anyone else that runs fast, I can't remember off the top of my head right now. But, um... Kabuto? Clock up? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, you can... Any figure art that uh, allows enough space in between here for that part, anyway, can fit in there, no problem, unless they have really weird feet that obviously wouldn't allow them to peg in there. But, um... The effect parts are cool. Having the candroids is nice. They are going to go up in my display somewhere. So... So, plus... Thumbs up for the candroids. Uh, and, yeah, if you're an O's fanatic, I can recommend the set, but otherwise, I mean, these are just random combos that really serve no purpose. So, recommended for the Candroids and the effect parts. Figures are kind of meh. Uh, so it's just kind of like a run-of-the-mill recommendation for me. So you can check out a written review at RazRansRambles.com, bringing the latest token news in the craziest way possible. Of course, you can talk about O's, figure arts, time machine, anything else at the Ramboards at RazRansRambles.com slash forums. And uh, take care. Have a great one. Bye.